On this week's episode, don't buy this. Hey everybody, Scott Donchikowski here, and today I want to talk about camera accessories. More specifically, I want to talk about camera accessories that I wish I didn't have to see anymore out in the field. Now, I've spent the last 10 years plus guiding and doing workshops, um, and there's a lot of garbage that I see uh, people bring on these uh, workshops. And again, no offense to you if you're watching this and um, and you have some of this stuff. Again, like, uh, you know, please don't take any offense. I just wish people would stop buying this stuff. All right, number one, number one on the list are wireless shutter releases. I absolutely hate these things, they don't work. Um, I've never had a wireless shutter release function properly. And not only that, but they come in so many pieces. Some of them have little mini jack plugs. Um, do you remember, um, uh, you had a cordless phone back in the day, a cordless house phone back in the day, and you had to like, pull the antenna out. I've seen wireless transmitters like that. They're just garbage. I have no preference when it comes to the brand of a shutter release. Um, I just don't like the wired ones. So if your brand is newer, like this one, uh, fine. Just as long as it's wired. Wired always works. I've never had any issues with wired shutter releases before. This is a, a timer remote control, but I also have a little cheap, what is this, Omlite? That's what it's called. I don't know where this stuff comes from, but it's cheap, it works, and it's not wireless. Um, why do you need to have wireless anyway? Or how far away do you need to be from your camera? This cable is very long. If I need to stand really far away from the camera, I can. And if I really wanted to go wireless, most of the modern cameras out today have Wi-Fi built in, so you can use your phone and you can stand at a distance and fire it. But in terms of wireless, like there's no reason. There's no reason, so just don't get it. Don't buy into the hype, they're garbage. So that takes care of number one, shutter releases. Get a wired shutter release. Okay, number two. Number two, oh, number two. Can I have a drum roll, please? All right, number two is the cheap aluminum tripod. Now, again, I have no preference when it comes to the cost of these things, right? Like if a $30, well, $30. If a $100 tripod works, then it works. If a $1,000 tripod works, it works. I don't care what brand it is. In fact, I still have, here we go, my original Manfrotto tripod that I got when I first started photography. It's a beast and it weighs like six pounds, seven pounds, whatever it is, but it works and it's awesome. Um, and it's also, I mean, it is aluminum, but it's not a cheap aluminum tripod. You know what I'm talking about. I hate to call brands out, but Velbon, yeah, no good. So when you go to the store and you go to Walmart and you're gonna buy your camera or Costco or wherever you're gonna buy your new camera from, um, do not spend $24 and get the cheap aluminum tripod. You know the ones I'm talking about, the ones with the, the base that kinda, that, that's, that's you know connected to all the tripod legs so you can't independently move one leg. Um, I, oh, they're terrible. Don't get those. Okay, another thing. Any tripod uh, that comes with a plastic, um, let's see here, that comes with a plastic uh, release uh, is not worth your time or money. And again, like this tripod was only about two or 300 bucks. I think it's like 200. Um, and I don't, I don't use that one anymore. I have, uh, you know, a, a pretty expensive one now. I have a Gitzo with a really right stuff tripod head. Um, uh, that's just what I prefer, but I mean, you can go to Vanguard or Me Photo or Benro or Davis and Sanford, whatever you choose, Manfrotto, and you can get a really reasonable tripod. You don't need to be in the upper echelon, you know, and you don't need to be at the absolute bottom of the barrel. So stop buying those really cheap Van Vel Velbon tripods. They're just, no, 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 no. Don't do it. Third on the list, number three, um, are lens cap holders. Oh, I hate lens cap holders. And you know the ones I'm talking about. They're the ones with the little elastic, you know, that kind of, yeah, you put over your lens um, and it's got, a little, it's got a little sticky that sticks onto your lens cap so that when you, you know, when you take your lens cap and you, and you pull it off the camera and it starts, 
you know, wind starts kicking up, that, that lens cap is gonna bang against your tripod like this. Ugh. No, not good. Uh, you wanna know a really good spot for your lens caps? Let me show you, let me show you. Right here, right here. See that? Right in the back pocket there. That's the best spot for your lens cap. And bonus, you didn't have to pay anything for it, right? Well, maybe you paid for the pants, but uh, you didn't have to pay anything extra for the lens cap holder. Um, absolutely terrible piece of photographic. What am I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. They are, uh, they suck is basically what it is. If, if you don't have a back pocket, uh, here's a couple things that you should buy um, to uh, alleviate your lens cap problem. Okay, next on the list, number four off-brand camera batteries. Uh, if you shoot Canon, you should be using a Canon battery. Um, if you shoot Nikon, you should be using a Nikon battery, Sony, Sony battery. It's just that simple. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people that have the off-brand camera batteries and try to make it work. Number one, you are saving money by buying an off-brand camera battery like Watson or Pierstone. Um, these companies make okay battery chargers. In fact, I have a Pure stone battery charger that I absolutely love. It's got a little USB um, connection in it so I can charge my phone and my camera battery at the same time. But I stopped buying the off-brand camera batteries because they just don't last as long. The battery might be half the price of your branded camera battery, but it will not last even half as long. The battery that I have in this 5D Mark III, I bought with the camera new in 2013. So six years later, I still have the original batteries. Now, yes, I've bought a couple more, you know, over the past couple years. I still don't have the LPE6N, looking out for that one. Uh, but as it stands, like these batteries, they last a long time. Like they're great. There's no reason to cheap out and buy uh, off-branded camera batteries. I'll tell you a quick story. I was in Bodie, California, um, the ghost town, doing a workshop, and there was a woman on that workshop that had some off-branded cameras, and, or, sorry, there was a woman on that workshop that had some off-branded camera batteries, and she had some actual Canon ones. She was shooting with a, she was shooting with a 5D Mark IV. Now we're doing some night photography in front of the big church there, and we're using our intervalometers, our you know timer remote controls to uh, set up the cameras and do some long exposure photography, so we can get some star trails. You know what I mean? Really, really kind of neat shot um, to achieve while you're there. Um, but she was having an issue, right? We were setting up her intervalometer and it would only take a couple shots, you know, click, click, stop. And we're like, what is going on here? Click, click, stop. Uh, we tried, you know, resetting the camera. We tried taking out the, um, the memory card uh, and switching it for another one. Um, almost everything was at a loss. And finally, I was just like, you know what? What kind of battery is in your camera? So we pull out the battery, and it was one of those cheap, like, you know, off-branded camera batteries. And I said, do you have any Canon batteries? She says, absolutely. So took the Canon battery, put it right in the camera, set the intervalometer up, everything was fine. She managed to get some amazing shots that night. And I told her to take those off-branded camera batteries and just chuck them in the garbage. Do yourself a favor, don't cheap out, get the real deal. You will thank me in the years of enjoyment that you will get out of your real camera batteries. Uh, okay, so number five is a little bit of a cheat. Um, I was thinking about this and I was like, mm, like, you know, maybe we could tell, maybe I could tell people to stop buying cheap filters or close up filters, macro filters, or, you know, variable neutral density filters or camera straps, uh, all that kind of stuff. But the reality of it is, is that, you know, if you're, if you really need a filter, a cheap, you know, uh, polarizing filter actually does something, you know, it, it, it may not be as good as an expensive filter, like breakthrough photography, shout out, or B&W, um, but it still works, you know, um, uh, so who cares, cheap filters, whatever. Um, Close-up filters, you know, I could tell people to stop buying close-up filters, you know, the little macro ones that you put on, it's like a step-up filter. Um, but if you, you know, if you don't know what macro photography is, spending 20 bucks on some plus filters, uh, you know, that, that could get you a little bit closer to the game. Or I could tell people to not buy variable neutral density filters because I think they're trash. But again, like it's all, you know, part of the experience of, do I wanna do this? I don't like this filter. Maybe I can get something a little bit more expensive down the line, whatever the case may be. Um, so, but I chose not to do that. I chose to cheat 
and I chose to recommend something that I wish people would see more instead of recommend something that I wish I would see less. And that is a card reader. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times this has saved my bacon because maybe I didn't bring the, you know, adapter for the camera. Um, my camera has a USB 3 connection on it, so connecting the camera to the computer is, you know, okay. But what if we don't have that connection? Uh, then you're screwed. Uh, you're you're uh -huh. out of luck, as we'd say. Um, the connection with my card reader is built in to the card reader, so I'm never without it. Um, and also, it takes multiple cards. So, you know, I can pass it around if people forgot to bring theirs. Um, so I wish people would bring card readers more often than I see them. Um, so there you go. That Those are the four things I wish I would see less of out in the field. The four things that you definitely shouldn't buy. Wireless shutter releases, cheap aluminum tripods, lens cap holders, you know, little, again, little elastic suckers that go over the lens, and off-brand batteries. Do not buy those at all. Stay away from those things. Get yourself a card reader. Go out, shoot, have a good time, take some good photos. Subscribe to this channel down below. Give it a like, give it a share, and we'll see you next week. Happy shooting, everybody. Bye-bye.